So last time we talked about what Buddhism is. Now let's talk a little bit about who was actually the Buddha. Some people ask me the question, was the Buddha a god? No, he was not. But what the Buddha was is some very interesting question which we can study from his life. The Buddha was born as a prince in present-day Nepal and as soon as he grew up he started to ask certain questions about life which made him realize that the life in a palace was not going to be sufficient for him. He wanted to know more about life, he wanted to search for certain spiritual very profound existential answers in life. So he finally decided to become what we presently would call a monk and he then finally became enlightened when he was 35 years old under the place which we now call the Bodhi tree. Now what did he discover when he became enlightened? Then we have to look at the word the Buddha. What does Buddha mean? Buddha means first of all enlightened, secondly awakened. Thirdly, it could also mean to open up like a lotus flower. So when the Buddha became enlightened, he discovered that when we actually train the mind by stilling the mind and developing insight into the reality of life, we can overcome all ignorance in the mind. We can all overcome all negative emotions and unrealistic perceptions in life and understand the real nature of life and the world. And this is what we call enlightenment, which is also a supreme form of happiness and bliss. Difficult to understand, but very much something worth to strive for. This is why Buddhists all over the world honor the Buddha not because they think he is a god, but because they recognize that even though he was born as a human being, he achieved something that is beyond just the human life, but is the highest in, human, in, in what a human can achieve, which is the highest in the cosmology that is enlightenment.